All right, guys, so I'm back. Uh, I had to um, take the night off, and I kind of left all this fuel stuff here, or the fuel pump system. Uh, it's super rusty, and I'm not sure if I can fix it. I'm going to mess with this little pump, because this is the actual fuel pump, and uh, see if I can get it to turn on. And then if I can do that, then I'll put it back together just to get the car running. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I cleared up a little space on my uh, table, and I'm about to go to town on this uh, fuel pump. So um, here it is. Get some sandpaper, spread out this stuff, and uh, yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to test out this pump. It's pretty much I'm just going to touch the terminals, these little probes that are connected to the battery. Hopefully something happens. I didn't see, but there's actually a positive and negative sign. So I saw that after I flipped it a little bit, but I don't know. Might have to get a new one. Stay tuned. Oh shit, I need to go turn this off. <laughs> That pump, I'm pretty sure, is kaput. I don't think it's gonna work again. I don't even think like this floater indicator is gonna work. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna have to buy a whole new assembly, but I've been seeing them for like $150 online and I really don't wanna spend that. But uh, if I have to, I will. <sighs> I shouldn't have left this gas tank empty for, I mean, it, it, it's been a little bit. Like I bought this car a while ago, so. It's completely my fault what happened, but let me see if I can show you a little bit of this uh, wreckage. So yeah, that is rust on my gas tank. I'm going to have to either drop this whole damn tank and clear it out or do like this pressure washer method with a whole bunch of chemicals and stuff. And I wasn't really trying to do all that because I have so much work to do on this car and it's just adding on to all the work that I have to do. But either way, I'm kind of determined to get this project done this summer. So yeah, stay tuned. All right guys, so the MR2, I thought I was just gonna be able to throw it on a trailer, take it to a shop and get a quote for a Bondo slash paint job. But it's looking like it's gonna be a, a full on resto for this thing. So, um. Yeah, the gas tank's gonna have to come out and I'm gonna have to clean it. I'm gonna have to put it back in there, do a little bit of work to the body, paint it. Or actually, I'm gonna have to finish putting that top on. So if you guys wanna see a video on how to do the uh, soft top replacement on the MR2, uh, I pretty much peeled the frame, or I peeled the old top off the frame, put this new one halfway back on. Honestly, it's like a quarter of the way there. I've been slacking on this project. But if you want to see some content on this MR2, let me know. But it's going to be like a full resto. It's a, didn't think it was going to be like that. I already pulled out all of the carpet. Pretty much it was a hail damage, uh, a hail damaged car and the rear windshield broke and there was a whole bunch of shit in there. Getting some video action, letting you guys know what we're doing. So the MR2 is still over here. Haven't done shit to it, but look at this. Look what we got here. We got, what is it? What kind of car is it? 180 Mark IV Jetta. Okay, you guys heard it. You guys heard it. So, uh, Mark IV Jetta, and we're doing a full strut and coil over. Or just coils, right? Not coil overs. So, we got these Springs. sexy bastards right here. Putting them. Ooh, ooh, yeah, look at that. Look at that color combo. We got the teen lowering springs. Okay, so shouts out to uh, teen. Looks like Halloween does looks like a jack o lantern nice so those bad boys are about to be in this car so as kyler is changing his struts or attempting God, to change his struts i'm going to drop this gas tank so let's come underneath here underneath the mr2 and take a look at this gas tank so i popped off this little pieces of uh plastic trim right here 
There's a bolt right here. Same goes for the other side. And, oh, there's also some hardware directly across from those bolts. And I don't think you need to take off this plastic trim, but it's kind of hard to access. So, I'll have to find that. I, uh, I think there's another video on the YouTube somewhere, and they said there's only four bolts and a hose clamp. So, hopefully that's true. I'll unscrew those four bolts. There's one right here. There's the rear driver's side tire plastic clip which holds on this splash shield. Okay, so if you feel your hand down into this cavity, you can access a group of cables that are, or not, I guess some cables and hoses and stuff like that. And there's like a cap over it, so I didn't really want to take it off the gas tank. So I just kind of followed through, and there's a little cavity in the engine bay right here with a bunch of hoses. I just went ahead and disconnected all of them. Pretty sure some of them I didn't need to disconnect, but I'll show you that here in a little bit after i did that i realized that there were a few hoses that came to this i'm not sure what this is I'll probably figure out here in a little bit but it's this big one in the bottom with the uh kind of rigidy cover and then this smaller one up top i think those are the only two that actually lead to this and then after that the gas tank should be ready to drop okay so this is the cavity right here you can't really see it that well but there's like some plastic brackets it's right there there's a whole bunch of hoses that I already pulled through there's one of them that I started to pull through there's two 10 millimeter bolts just to loosen this bracket make everything easier um, I don't think I have to take off this big old pipe right here might have to take off this one but I will see so I took off like four hoses or something all right guys so after a lot of unnecessary shit and help from this guy i uh got this carbon filter and i don't what is it carbon catch filter some stupid shit like that Emissions bullshit. yeah something to keep uh, mother nature alive but i had to unplug all of that just to access this main tube in the bottom which i already pushed through and now, I think the gas tank is finally ready to drop. So let's pop, lock, and fucking drop it! Two spider gas tank is officially removed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a look at this gas tank. I did unscrew and disconnect a few hoses that I probably didn't need to, 
but there's a lot of stuff in there so I just wanted to give myself as much room as possible I didn't really know which one you needed to disconnect so I just started disconnecting a whole bunch of hoses hopefully I'll remember where to put them uh, everything seemed like it was streamlined and there were like these little brackets where all the hoses like fell into if you're doing this you know what I'm talking about but yeah anyway there's a little bit of gas coming out of there should probably raise that up a little bit I'm probably gonna use what gas is already in there to kind of help break up some of that rust. Let's see if we can, let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so you can see that the inside of the gas tank is just lined with rust. All the components were red, so I'm gonna have to start scrubbing. Might use a pressure washer and do that method too. But yeah, stay tuned. Let's 